taking um, a, a great practice of attending events with all of us at-large <laughs> members, so I wanted him to join me. And come on up, uh, uh, leaders of uh, Heritage Montgomery. Uh, we were at event, an event with them recently, and we got to see their surprise that you may not all be aware of. This is what they call an Emmy. <laughs> Uh, they should give one for political performances, shouldn't they? <laughs> that's, what an, that's what a real Emmy looks like and feels like and fits nicely on a person's fireplace or a bookshelf or whatever. Look, come on in, folks. Uh, we're joined today by uh, Peggy Erickson, who's executive director of Heritage Montgomery. Um, uh, Barbara Grunman, producer for... Uh, uh, cable uh, Montgomery Life in a War Zone. That's what we're celebrating today. Mm -hmm. Barbara is the one who technically won the award. Um, and we also have Bethany Maddox, Scott Whipple, and Laurie Rainey from the, uh, the Board of Heritage Montgomery. Um, this is a documentary about what it was like during the Civil War in Montgomery County. And as with the, the previous award, it just illuminates uh, the depth of commitment to education, uh, to history, and really going the extra mile to tell people uh, about what has our history is, what the experiences were like, and, and what made us what we are. So we are really delighted today uh, to celebrate uh, the award with Heritage Montgomery. And uh, let me read the proclamation along with Mr. Andrews, and then we'll ask Ms. Erickson to say a few words. So, you, thank you, Phil. Uh, whereas, Heritage Montgomery is dedicated to promoting and supporting heritage tourism to historical, cultural, and natural areas in Montgomery County, and whereas, Phil, you got your, I find your glasses <laughs> there. Uh, Heritage Montgomery served as executive producer of the local documentary, Life in a War Zone, Montgomery County during the Civil War, which chronicles a harrowing four-year period when troops from both sides of the war traveled through Montgomery County and when local sympathies varied widely. And here we are. Whereas we the documentary highlights many names and places that are familiar to Montgomery County residents and also features stories that many residents may not know. And whereas... Whereas Life in a War Zone won an Emmy Award for its producer, Barbara Grumman, in the historical documentary category, as selected by the National Capital Chesapeake Bay Chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, and... Whereas the Emmy Award is especially satisfying because Life in a War Zone was produced on a shoestring budget, <laughs> benefiting from an incredible amount of community support for producing a first-rate program. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby honors and congratulates Heritage Montgomery for its outstanding achievement in creating the award-winning documentary, Life in a War Zone, Montgomery County during the Civil War, and allowing residents to see and feel how their home county played in the, an integral role in one of the most significant events in American history. Presented on this 13th day of November in the year 2012 and signed by our council president, Roger Berliner. So, way to go, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Barbara, would you like to say something to me? You can both say something. <laughs> Here it is. Yes, and it's quite heavy. I feel like it's Mrs. Ooh. Purple in the library with a hammer. Um, <laughs> She's not letting go of it, you'll notice. <laughs> it's quite appropriate that we follow on the footsteps of your first proclamation because it is about civil rights. It's about freedom for everyone. And this story, um, we wanted people to remember what this county was like in 1860 to 1865 the loss of rights in the county, um, the moving stories of people's hardship. And as a result of that effort, we're already planning for our next Emmy. <laughs> we, have, we have our newest project, the project is called Community Cornerstones. It's on the role of historic African-American churches and their role in developing the county. And we're hoping to do a documentary on that and be back in two years <laughs> telling you how proud we are to have won again. 
but Montgomery County does have a rich, wonderful history that everyone, all the elected officials and everyone in the room should be very proud of, and we appreciate this. And with me is, as Nancy re recognized, Barbara Grumbaum, who was the executive producer, Lori Ranney, who is a gifted writer and helped produce it, Bethany Maddox from the Conference and Visitors Bureau, and they've been very supportive, and Scott Whipple, our go-to man at Park and Planning in the um, Historic Preservation Office. So thank you to everybody, and our history is so important, and especially for the stu students in Montgomery College and Montgomery County Public Schools have been showing the video almost nonstop. It's been quite fabulous, so thank you to everybody. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, both of you and council, for this being recognized. Um, it was, uh, I've done, as you all know, a lot of history projects. This one was probably the most meaningful because of uh, the time that it took, the people I worked with. It was truly a community effort. We had folks from Montgomery College. We had equipment from Montgomery College. We used a sound um, uh, studio in Tacoma Park. And so, um, I think it's something that we as Montgomery County residents can be really proud of um, and, and learn lessons too from the, the video. So if you haven't seen it, That's check great. it out. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen it, check it out on County Cable Montgomery, which is channel six on Comcast and RCN and channel 30 on Verizon. You can see it on demand on County Cable on Montgomery County's website or you can go to my blog and we have a link to it there. So there's no excuse, it's about an hour, mm -hmm. right? And it, it's real and it's us. So um, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.